So what do they say? Loud pipes save... No, that's not right. Wrong cycle. Loud brakes save light? No, that's not right either. Nobody says that. Well, all right. So in a recent video, I installed hydraulic brakes on this bike. If you haven't seen it, well, I'm not surprised. Nobody watched that video. But if you're interested, I'll put a card up above. Check it out. So you may have noticed I've got just the tiniest bit of brake school on this bike. Just enough to notice. So in today's video, we're going to try and resolve that. Now I don't know if we're going to succeed. I think the chances of success here are low, but we're going to give it a try. So if that interests you, stay tuned. We'll get started. So I did some research. According to the internet, there's five ways we can fix this. Give it a good cleaning, readjust the calipers, scuff off any glazing, bake off spilled brake fluid, or replace the pads and rotors. I got these brakes used. I got the calipers and the rotors from different sellers. I suspect the calipers have been soaked in oil, but I don't know that absolutely. I'm going to give this process the benefit of the doubt. Start with the cleaning, let's see what happens. So I'm gonna pull these off the bike, let's give them a thorough cleaning. To clean these, I'm gonna use some isopropyl alcohol and I'm gonna use a brand new, fresh toothbrush and I'm gonna scrub the dirt and grime off the pads, dry them off with a clean rag, and then I'm gonna scuff the surface slightly with a new Scotch-Brite pad. That was quite a bit dirtier than I thought it was gonna be. Look at that. Alright, there's one pad. Alright, that's both pads. I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the rotor, except I'm going to use the alcohol on the rag and not use the brush. And then I'm going to finish by rubbing the surface down with a Scotch-Brite pad. That way if there's anything left on this surface, hopefully this will get rid of it. Wipe it down one more time with alcohol just to make sure the surface is genuinely clean. All right, that looks good. Let's go put this back on the bike. The rear brakes are clean. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the fronts. So I just finished cleaning these. They look really good now. They were surprisingly dirty. I didn't expect that. So now that everything's together, let's take it back out to the driveway. Let's see how it sounds. Surprisingly, that's all the front needed was a good cleaning. 
It's quiet now, feels really good. The back, on the other hand, not so much. You heard the massive squealing, that's all coming from the rear brake. So the next thing to do, let's check the alignment, let's make sure that's spot on. So as I sight down the rotor, it does appear this caliper is a little bit out of position. It's sort of skewed like this, so the front is too close to the rotor on this side, and the back on the inside. So the way I'm going to adjust this, I'm going to remove the pads, and then I'm going to use feeler gauges, and I'm going to set the body from the rotor the same distance, front and rear. So the way I'll adjust this caliper, I'll take the bolts loose, and then I've got a 0.635 millimeter or 0.025 inch feeler gauge, and I will insert this between the caliper body and the rotor. This is the exact distance to make up half that width. So if I tighten this caliper body down with this in place, it will center this rotor in that body. All right, that is in place, and I'm going to push the body in. And now I know that this body is evenly spaced between the rotor and the caliper. So I'm going to tighten on these bolts. Now that the caliper body is adjusted, we need to align the pads to the rotor. To do that, we use one of these pad centering discs. It inserts in between the pad, clips over that center supporting screw, and then what we'll do is we'll work the lever a couple times, and that will center the pads. So now I'm going to put the wheel back on, we'll take it out, we'll try it again. Adjusting that rear caliper really quieted down that rear brake, so the combination of cleaning pads and adjusting the calipers fixed my brake squeal. The brakes are really quiet now, they're good and strong, they feel exactly like they should. If you've made it this far and your brakes still squeal, I do want to talk about those other two items on the list. I want to show you how to deglaze your pads and rotors, and I also want to show you what to do if you've got oil contaminated pads. So let's go over to the workbench. We'll start. I want to show you how to deglaze your pads and rotors. This shiny surface you see on this pad, this pad is glazed. What has happened is it's gotten hot and just a combination of heat and friction has polished the pad surface. And because this is shiny like this, it can cause it to squeal. So the way to remove that shine, what I do is I use some 600 grit sandpaper. This is 600 grit wet or dry. I take the pad and I drag it along the sandpaper. And what we're effectively doing is we are sanding off this shiny surface. And it only takes a couple of passes to really knock that shine off. And then after sanding, we'll want to make sure we clean them up really well with more alcohol. If you've got a set of pads that have been exposed to oil, either you've had a leak or maybe you spilled oil on them while bleeding them, what happens is oil will soak into the friction material. About the only way to remove that is to bake the oils out of the brake pads. So what I do is I clean them just like we did before using rubbing alcohol and a brush and then I put them in my toaster oven and I heat them up. And what we want to do is get them hot enough that the oils evaporate and, and flash out of the pads, but that we don't damage the pads. So I use a toaster oven, and I set it to about 250 degrees, and I will leave those in there to bake for like half an hour. Give them plenty of time for the oils to flash out of the friction material. And then after they come out of the oven and they're cool, then I will sand them just like we did to remove glazing. And that's how those turn out. And by heating them up and flashing out the oils and then sanding and cleaning them, hopefully you've removed everything, all the contaminants, and these won't make noise.
I'm really surprised with how easy this really was to resolve. I thought it was going to be a lot more involved. I actually ordered replacement pads and rotors, but I didn't need them, so I'm going to send them back. If you've got brake squeal, hopefully, you know, one of those five items will help resolve your issues. So if you're subscribed to my channel, I want to say thank you. I really do appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, I try to put content out like this just about every week. So if you enjoyed this, well, consider subscribing. So with that, thank you for watching.